All right, welcome back to Lehigh River Subdivision. Today we're going to be working on bridge piers. I have these Cotto piers here, and I changed my mind. I really don't care for the looks of them. They don't fit the area. So I had bought these. They're, you'll see them in a the mail call. Um, I don't know what brand they are, but these are for a single bridge. But what my idea was... Was to take some aluminum foil, wrap them around them, and I can get the indents. So what I did was went ahead and made one to wrap around both piers here. And now what I'm going to do is mix up a batch of watery plaster. And then we're going to go ahead, and, sorry about the light, the LEDs mess with the camera right in this spot. Um, and pour it in there. And that should give us that look that I won't have to carve at it too much so we'll give it a shot see how it turns out um, I think it'll be much better than what I have and uh, hopefully I won't have to do too much carving with this method but we will see what goes okay I went ahead and pulled the form off and you can see it left me with some nice indents there um, I'm gonna have to do some carving as you can see right here I got a spot to fix my idea for that is going to be put some drywall mud in there make up a new piece of aluminum foil and just press it over and then pull it off right away and it should leave uh, the marks we need so they come around that side came out pretty good other than um, a whole chunks missing in that corner We'll do the same thing as I'm going to do on that other spot to fix, which is put drywall mud in there. Now this side, I started carving at a little bit, so you can see where I'm at. I got to define it some more, um, and I might have some spots to fill out, but I got to carve it down and shape it a little here. And I'm just going to use, I have a scrap blade in the hobby knife. So that's what I'm using, and um, I'm going to carve at this a little bit, and we'll come back and see how it looks. But I think this is going to be good, and I'm liking whether it's going already over how those looked, which I poured in some of the excess in there to fill up the hole. And then if this all goes as planned, which I think it's working the way I want it to so far, I'm going to cap these bridge abutments here there's the other one doing something similar um but i really think this will look so much better more realistic and uh it'll be easier to do the river around a solid pier like that than it was going to be to do that and uh i'm glad i made this change because i think it's going to make my life easier in the long run so let me go back to work here and see what I can do. Okay, so I'm completely done with my carving process and I'm happy with the results. I fixed this corner here with the drywall mud. It's now squared in and uh, we'll just come around here. You can see how the side came out. Then here is the opposite side. And then we'll take a look at the back. Let's. See. And then here is the carving on the back side of the layout. This is this was the hardest side to carve because it's the farthest one away, and awkward because it's for, you have to reach from the back. Um, but it came out good. So I'm going to throw the bridges back up on here so we can take a look at how it looks with the bridge on top of this pier. So there here in the foreground you can see how the old piers looked. I mean they're covered with plaster a little bit. But you get the idea. And now if we move down, here is what the redone pier capped and carved to look like stone looks like. And I must say that really looks sharp. And our next step is going to be to seal it um 
So I'm going to head to seal that with a clear coat first and then we're going to wash it to start weathering it and get it to the color I want it to be. Um, so let's give this a go. So to clear coat, what I'm going to be using is this Minwax Polycrylic Crystal Clear Top Coat. And it is a clear ultra flat. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open this up, stir it, and clear coat the bridge pier. Um, main thing when working with these clear coats like this is to not shake it. You do not want to get bubbles in it when you mix it up. So when you mix it, you want to be really careful. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal the bridge pier. So for the first wash, I'm going to go ahead and use this pewter gray. And we're going to go over and I'll show you what I did. Okay, you see, I just put a little piece of drop of paint out on the foam here. I put the paint here because I don't care if it dries there. It's not going to matter. It will get covered. So I put that there to grab the paint from. I had this water here and two different brushes. So what I did is I took the one brush and brushed water out completely on this side. And then I took just a little bit of paint um, onto the one brush, starting at the top and working it all the way out, working with the way the block would be laid, left to right, right to left, not up and down. Um, and then I went all the way around and repeated the same process. So this is the first wash with the pewter gray over the clear coat that was put on right over the plaster. I like the way it looks. Okay, so the pier now has two washes and two clear coats on it. Well, actually three clear coats. The one I started with, then the first wash, then a clear, then a wash, and now a clear. The first wash was the pewter gray that you saw. The second color I used was a mixture of burnt umber with a dark red, uh, flamenco red, I believe it was called. And uh, the reason I used the red is because there's a hue of red in the rocks that are used um, for the walls in the Lehigh Gorge, as well as like up in Whitehaven, there's red rocks that are just in the ground. Um, so I'm trying to get that. I probably should have did the red first and then went over top. Um, but it's a learning process. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the pewter gray again that we started with and go back over this red and see what that gives me. Um, this is kind of trial and error. Um, but so far I'm liking it. It's just too red right now. Um, but hopefully those will shine through and we'll see what happens here. So I'm going to do the next coat and then we'll be back. Okay, so this is after doing the pewter gray over top of the burnt umber mixed with the flamenco red. This is pretty much where I think I want my rocks to look. Now what I want is to define the grout now. So what we're going to do is rewash it. <laughs> And I'm going to wet it, and I'm going to just do the grout area. And I'm going to mix the pewter gray with an elephant gray, just to lighten it up a little bit than the original pewter gray we used, um, which should give us that offset that we're looking for. So now that I'm at this point, I just want to say that I messed up on the first wash. Instead of doing the pewter gray first, I should have mixed the flamenco red and the burnt umber as those were my under colors that my accents and um, when I use that color over the gray it completely hid the gray so I want to put the gray over top of that next time so that is the one thing I'll be changing when I revisit this process to do the bridge abutments and the piers because I'm going to be stone carving all of it now like this um, I just wanted to say that um, in here, uh, that's the one thing that I think I messed up on this. Otherwise, everything has gone pretty smoothly. But I took my time. I didn't rush. And uh, I'm really happy with the results. So let's do the one more wash. Um, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. 
And when I say one more wash, it's going to be our final wash for the rocks. I may later come back and address like the um, water streaking, um, maybe some powdering of the rocks or grout, which leaves like a whiter, like a off white residue. And I may super glue and add some foliage on some of the rocks to create a moss look. But that is going to be another video for the details. We're just focusing on the carving of it and the stone coloring. And that other part that I just mentioned will be another video. Um, so let's do the wash and we'll come back and take one more look at it. Okay, so I'm done with the last wash and the last clear, and I am done messing with the stones and the colors. I'm pretty happy with the results I got here. The grout lines are a little bit defined. Um, it's hard for me to see because I'm colorblind, but I can see that there's a bit of a shade in there that's different than the rocks, so that will be good with me. Um... I will super detail this as I mentioned before, but it won't be till all the piers and abutments are done and then I can work on it all at once. Um, this side, and then I'll show you this side. So you get an idea. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Okay, so there you can see what this side looks like. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I didn't think it would turn out this nice. And um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and set the bridge back in here so we can get a look at it with the bridge in place. So here is with the bridge back in place with the bridge sitting on the piers. I'm really happy with this look um, compared to that look even though the colors got messed up pouring the plaster in uh it just doesn't look as nice um as what that does it really came out good in my opinion i'm very happy with it and and like i said it's going to make my life much easier to pour the river so if we come up overhead You can see what it looks like, and then we'll hit this side. Let's see, focus in there. Yep, there you can see what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and throw a train up on here, and uh, we'll get a look at it that way before we end this video. Okay, so there's what it looks like with a train on the bridge with the new pier, and I can say it really, really adds to the scene. Um, it looks so much better than the previous pier and as I do the rest of this scene as I did this pier It's really really gonna come together and um, I'm really excited um, About where this scene's heading. It wasn't that difficult to do um, it just took me a while to build my confidence up and uh, just uh, decided that I didn't like the way those look and once I got these uh, piers I showed in the beginning it popped in my head the idea of doing what I did that I showed in the beginning with the aluminum foil and uh, it worked pretty well I'm happy with the results I want to thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you over the hump take care <laughs>